everybody it's me bro and in this video we are going to fix a few small things that are not really errors but for example if we open up our inventory we don't have icons for our items but I did import them so we are going to add these also if you remember when we build things let's say our table we changed the scale to 2 well at least I did the bench was left at 1 but we don't have these scales for our pickups and I want to add these scales and implement these scales into our placed items and also so that we would be able to like place them on the table same as we did uh, with our buildables if that makes sense so let's get on with it the first thing what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to my inventory system s inventory structure and I'm going to add a new variable which is going to be a build scale just like we have in our s buildables i'm going to add a uh, change the type to vector and i'm going to change these scales to one 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 like so and also i'm going to add a new variable which is going to be icon and the type is going to be 2d texture texture 2d here we go cool um we actually could change the default one. Yeah, I'm gonna change this to icon green. This smiley face. It's a default uh, texture from Unreal Engine, I guess. So that's it for this part right now. Um, the next thing what I could change is I could go to my build mode as buildables, and I could add. A variable which would be like the cost and this is going to be an amount for me like an integer and I'm going to use my logs as cost for my buildables so I have a cost that's good now the next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm going to implement the icons for my inventory so I'm going to open up my pickups carrot log stick stone like so and I'm gonna go to class defaults here we have uh, we need to compile it first and then we can go to our class defaults drop down this or we can go to item data here we have our icon so this is a stone so I need a stone icon here we go for the stick compile select item data type stick we have a stick icon same goes for log compile log icon compile and the carrot here we go so then now I can close these I guess yeah I can close these and I'm going to go to my UI and I'm gonna select item info and in here I'm going to add a image image like so there we go and I'm gonna duplicate this spacer and move this in between here so we would have some space and for the image I'm gonna type 64 times 64 like so it's gonna be good by default I'm gonna leave this as it is but I'm gonna rename this to item icon and make sure that this is is variable compile and save go to the event graph I'm gonna make my con event construct a bit bigger and here I could open this up and from the icon I could set texture from the set brush no, it doesn't work I guess I need to drag my icon in and then I need to drag from my icon and set brush brush from texture yeah so I need to drag it from the from the icon itself and the icon is going to be our icon from the structure like so I will make a reroute bin like this awesome compile and save open up our inventory oh first I need to pick up items in order to see my icons and they are all default icons 
icons, which is really, really weird. Oh, I know, why is this problem? So, you are going to add more variables to your structure. That means you are going to add more uh, unconnected pins. So, what you need to do is open up your third person character. And here we can see in our remove item, we don't have an icon here, so we can connect this. Same goes for our build scale. Then we should check also our other functions like search item. I'm gonna connect this. Search item. Here we don't have any needs to connect anything. So we can go to our add item. And here we have another spot where we need to connect something. So we connect this like so. Press play. Pick up some items. And we fixed our issues. So here we have our icons. Great. What we can do now is we can go back to our third person character and here where we are having this left mouse button event before we are allowed to build I will drag this out a little bit and I will copy all of this like so from this switch and I'm gonna create a new function which is going to be build something I'm gonna paste this in like so, connect this like so and in the event graph I'm going to delete all of this now like so, make this smaller and at the end I'm gonna drag this build something like so. There we go and in here we are going to do a check if we can build so depending on our switch um, actually we could do this a little bit differently not depending on the switch we could do this already before so I'm going to drag in I'm gonna open up my variables for my build mode I'm going to drag in my buildables database I'm gonna get my database then I'm going to get a reference to my build ID then I'm gonna break the result like so then from here on out I'm going to check the cost so here we have a cost and I want to search for an item like so and the item that I want to search for is, I'm going to drag this out a little bit. I'm going to make this, oh, actually I'll remove this aside for now. Um, so yeah, this could be the first thing that we need to do is we need to search for the item. And uh, since I made this search function that the only thing that we check here is the name and nothing else really matters, then in this where it is in this build something we can type here log since I'm going to use my logs as a cost to build so I'm gonna search for a log and if we did find a log then we need this thing I'm gonna put this here and we need to check if the cost is well actually let's do it the other way if the found amount is bigger or equal to the cost and then if it is like so then we can actually build and if we can build then I'm going to remove item I'm gonna use the function remove item like so yeah, I'm gonna move this back a little bit. I'm overlapping other things. And we are going to remove an item. And we actually then in this search item we need we need an item data. So I'm gonna open up the search. I'm going to add another output which is going to be found item, which is going to be a S inventory like so 
and I'm going to connect this as inventory to my RI element like so and then in this build something we can connect this item data to our found item item amount will be the cost from our buildables database like so oh my god it's getting a little messy so I'm gonna move this down a bit and then we're going to check if we succeeded to remove these items and if we did then we can place this buildable so what we can do now is we can go to our buildables database all right I'm gonna open all of these up and I'm going to set that the foundation build cost will be like five floor will be five wall will be five other walls as well will be five and furniture will make two for the chair mm, three for the table and three for the for the shelf so compile and save now I'm going to add another pickup inventory system pickups I'm going to add another pickup to the world here we go and here under the when when we select this under the default values uh, where did they go where did they go I double click this and they disappeared oh there we go yeah, 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 yeah. shouldn't double click this like so if you are getting lost as well then just select the item and make sure that you are selecting the pickup log self not the static mesh like I did and here in the amount I'm going to type 100 so I'm gonna press play now if I pick up my items press B and I'm trying to build I can't build because I don't have enough resources if I press on the bench I can build a bench I can build another bench and I can no longer build a bench but if I pick up this big log then I have 100 logs and I can build my buildables there we go awesome so we have implemented another functionality to our build mode great and for this tutorial that's going to be it in the next tutorial we are going to try to spawn our uh, inventory items the same way as we are spawning our buildables so Wait for the next video. See ya!